Who am I? That is the question. Have you ever asked yourself, who am I? Who does God think I am? What do other people see when they see me? How do I represent? Who do I represent? Well, if you've ever asked yourself any of those questions, I have your answer today. And I'm just going to give you several scriptures. You can write these scriptures down. I'm not going to read the scriptures to you. I'm going to tell you where you can find them as I tell you who you are. Who am I? I am the salt of the earth. <clears throat> Matthew 5, 13. Who am I? I am the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. You say, who am I? I say, I am of more value than many sparrows. Matthew 10, 31. Who am I? I am under grace, but not under the law. Romans 6, 14. Who am I? I am the temple of God. 1 Corinthians 3, 16. Who am I? I am Christ. 1 Corinthians 3, 23. Continuing on, I am full and rich. 1 Corinthians 4 and 8. I am wise in Christ. I am strong and I am honorable. 1 Corinthians 4 and 10. I am washed. I am sanctified. I am justified. 1 Corinthians 6. 11. I am bought with a price. 1 Corinthians 6, 20. I am the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 12, 27. I am saved by the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 and 2. I am a child of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Galatians 3, 26. I am sealed by the Holy Spirit unto the day of redemption. Ephesians 4, 30. I am complete in him. Colossians 2, 10. I am called in one body. Colossians 2, 15. I am a child of light and day. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 5. Who am I? I am part of a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and peculiar people. Who are you? If you are a female, you are Sarah's daughter. Who are you? I am partaker of Christ's suffering. 1 Peter 4, 13. Excuse me, let me back up. To the women who are Sarah's daughter, that scripture is 1 Peter 3 and 6. I am partakers of Christ's suffering, 1 Peter 4, 13. And finally, but it's certainly not least, I am of God. 1 John 4 and 4. Saints, family, friends, who are you?